Hi guys, it's your girl Stella again. Thank you so much to everyone who's ever left me comments and everyone who's been so supportive. I'm bringing you a very interesting topic today. It's um, flirting while you are married. Okay, flirting while you are married. But before I go into it, cheers guys, have a drink with me. So I'm just going to go straight into it guys. Before I tell you all the things about, oh, like, share, subscribe, press the subscribe button and follow me on TikTok. Oh, I started TikTok, guys. I know I'm late to the party, but I did. Check out my mini, mini little videos on TikTok. Follow me, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. So, guys, let me get straight into it. Flirting while married is a very dangerous game. You are playing with fire, girl and guy. Husband, if you are flirting and you are married, you are playing with danger that's going to consume you. Girl, you are playing with fire that will burn you, scorch your skin. <sighs> now, let me get into that. When I don't want to get into why you are flirting. Whatever the reason, it's wrong on every level. Now, if you are flirting, it tells people who are looking at you, it tells your spouse different things, you know. People who, who look at you, they look at you that you don't have self-respect. You don't have respect for yourself. You don't have respect for your spouse, maybe your husband or your wife. You don't have respect for your marriage. It shows you have no respect for your marriage vows. You're breaking your marriage vows. You said, I will forsake every other person and I will cling on to you. When you flirt with somebody else, that's not what you're doing. You're doing the exact opposite. You are making your partner feel insecure. You are, you are making your, your partner feel like, is not worthy or, the, you know, you made a mistake by marrying her or him. She's not exciting. He's not exciting. You you are giving someone else attention. You are flirting with the wrong person. That's destructive behavior, girl. You're probably doing it because um, maybe there's a vacuum in your marriage, in your life that you're trying to feel. You feel like maybe your wife or your husband isn't affectionate enough, isn't exciting enough, isn't thrilling enough, isn't adventurous enough isn't dangerous enough now girl guy you have to fix that the solution isn't to flirt with somebody else you are bringing a third party into your marriage and that's destructive behavior you might say oh it's harmless there's nothing harmless about flirting i'm just going to tell you right now there is absolutely nothing um, harmless about flirting it's it's something that it just shows first of all you have no class why on earth would you abandon your own wife or your own husband and flirt with another woman? Another I don't care if he's a colleague. And let me tell you what flirting is if you don't know. You wink at a woman who you're not married to or a guy you're not married to. That's flirting. You touch all the time. That's flirting. You, you know, stare into deeply into somebody else's eyes. Pay unnecessary compliment. A guy who I'm not married to tells me, oh lady, you are sexy. I take it as an insult. You're not my husband. Shut up. I don't want to hear that from you. I don't want to hear from you. So you have no business telling another married man you look sexy. It's none of your business. Do you see what I mean? That's disrespectful. You're disrespecting yourself. You're disrespecting that person and you're disrespecting your husband. Okay, so now let me come to... And also when you flirt, you are suggest, you are putting the, your needs above the needs of your marriage and above the needs of your um, husband as well or your wife so what you can do is look clearly there's you have some issues that's why you're doing it you have some issues in your marriage you need to work that out you need to sit down with your husband or your wife talk about those things set yourself there are things that are bothering you talk about it if you're not happy about the way your husband behaves or maybe your husband is not you know fun or your wife isn't fun you know light-hearted and all that Fix that. You can fix it. You can talk about it. Talk about it. Be honest with each other. Be open with each other. F talk about it at the right time. I mean, if somebody is already stressed and everything, that's not when you want to talk about everything that is wrong with you. Nobody's going to listen. So check your timing, you know. And so when when you talk, you engage and then you start. If you're a flirty person, you know, flirt with your own wife, with your own husband. It's exciting. I flirt with my husband all the time. I love it kiss him, hold his hand, hold his fingers. And when you do that, try and compliment him. Like if you hold your husband's hand, you're like, oh, did you ever do a job in your life? Your husband, your hands are so, your fingers are so soft. 
you know or if it's hard you're like oh i love it because it's rough and ready you know it shows that you're very hard working compliment your husband compliment your wife tell her how gorgeous she looks how excited she looks look into the heart even if they tell you they don't like it it's a lie there's nobody who doesn't like being praised nobody nobody who doesn't like being given attention they, even if they don't like it huh try take baby steps so try with something small like across the room just give the person a, give your wife or your husband a wink you know and then when you are close just touch like you're passing just touch you might look at you and say what are you doing don't say nothing just flirt with your own husband flirt with your own wife hug them from the back give them a kiss on the neck give them a kiss in the forehead irrespective of who is there public display of affection pda it works in marriage like house on fire it's so so important if guys do it too if your husband does it to the wife i tell you puts the wife in the mood already amazing if a woman does it to the husband she'll be like he'll be like mm, she's got that you know she's got her eyes for me who doesn't like to feel special what i'm just trying to say is in summary focus on your energy on your strength your effort your money your time on making your husband or your wife feel so good this romance of a thing is not a myth. It's not old school. It's as fresh as daylight. You know, you how you make somebody feel is how what they will remember. Is it's what drives your marriage. You know, apart from everything else, there's so much tension in this world that just feeling good from inside. You know, but getting that from home, getting that from your husband or your wife. Oh my God, that goes a long way. So today. I hope I've given you reasons why you shouldn't flirt because you don't want your partner to feel, you don't want your husband or your wife to feel insecure. You don't want them to feel like they're not good enough for you. That's that's not the aim of a marriage, you know. You you're, you're, you're to support each other, lift each other up, not tear down each other. So I pray that by the grace of God, you will build your home. You will have joy and peace, laughter and harmony all the days of your marriage, all the days of your life in Jesus' name. It's your girl Stella. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on TikTok. Bang, bang, bang. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. I'm on Facebook. And this is my book, Hot Chase. It's exciting. If you read it, let me know. I'm writing a new standalone series, guys. I'll bring that. I'll bring more of that to you next video. Until next time, it's your girl Stella. Bye. On TikTok, I'm on. I'm at Dear Stella TV. All the links will be below. Take care. Bye.